everybody, I'm Suzanne Ridgeway, this is Let Us Eat, welcome back to my channel. We're going to make a really easy chicken pot pie, part of my $40, $20 a week grocery budget challenge from the Dollar Tree. I drew up a meal plan for two weeks with my rotation menu system, as well as the theme nights. And we're doing a chicken pot pie because we like to do chicken on uh, Sundays. We've already done a kielbasa video. And we also have done the cake mix cookies in three different ways and the broccoli cheese soup for like a Saturday dinner. You can have it with like a baked potato or garlic bread or some kind of salad. I have written down some of the upcoming videos that we're going to be doing. And we're going to be doing chicken sandwiches. Really delicious, easy to do. We're going to be doing a tuna sandwich, which is a tuna melt in the air fryer. And we're also going to be doing the sausage and peppers in the crock pot from the Dollar Tree kielbasa and everything from the Dollar Tree. Plus a semi-homemade hamburger helper and a ground beef casserole. You can find all these items at the Dollar Tree. You just got to think outside of the box. If you are new, look for that subscribe button and smash on it. Thank you so much for clicking on my channel and checking me out. Let's get started. Real easy to do chicken pot pie. You're going to need two pans of the chicken. I stockpile this from the Dollar Tree. I find it to be the best price since I'm never really at the other stores to be saving money. I have a can of cream of chicken soup, which is from the Dollar Tree. Their green giant mixed vegetables and a Bisquick mix for the topper. Then I'm going to also use my seasoning blend from the Dollar Tree, which is a frozen item. And when I need it, I'll grab it out of the freezer. We're going to start prepping this. I'm going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. I use my round baking dish and I'm going to spray it. I'm going to spray it well. This is going to be a pot pie with a topper, not a full complete pie crust. I'm going to drain it as a chicken, add in the cream soup, and rinse the mixed vegetables. I'm going to grab my seasoning blend and put in about a quarter of a cup. New to the Dollar Tree this year, this is the seasoning blend. I'm just going to add the rest of that bag right into the baking dish. For spices, I'm going to use black pepper and garlic supreme, also from the Dollar Tree. And I don't use salt, but if you want to use salt, go ahead. And I do two teaspoons each, or you can do it to your taste. Go ahead and dump in your mixed vegetables. I'm going to mix it up before we dump in the, the chicken. This is the easiest pot pie you'll ever make. Always be careful around sharp cans when you open them because the edges can get very, very jarred with a shard of metal. Take all that chicken and add it in. I'm using two cans for this particular pot pie. You can do this with leftover rotisserie chicken or boneless skinless chicken breast, whatever you have. I'm gonna take my garlic and supreme black pepper, a couple of teaspoons. Now we're going to add the cream soup. This is a 10.3 ounce can, and we're gonna to mix together the batter for the Bisquick. Take that cream soup. You can use cream of mushroom, cream of celery, cream of chicken, whatever you have available. I like cream of mushroom because it gives extra flavor and it's delicious. Just gonna to wanna to mix that all in. And this is the mixture for the pot pie. Now we're going to take the bisquick and uh, throw that together for the topper. All you will need is a half a cup of water. I'm going to add the package into the bowl and add in a half a cup of water. I chose the biscuit one. 
rather than the garlic one. The garlic one I'm going to save for another dish. I filled up my can part way. Then you're going to fold the water in a little bit at a time. You don't want any dry ingredients. Quick and easy. I'm gonna bring back the pot pie mixture and we're gonna dump on the mixture from the bisquick. I'm gonna carefully that right on top. Try to get everything out. If you don't hear any background noise, it's because my husband ran out. He dropped our oldest off to work. My youngest is sleeping was up late, had trouble sleeping because it was warm, and I put the air conditioner on, which uh, she doesn't always like, and she finally passed out. I'm going to spread this all over, make sure it's evenly distributed all around, and during that challenge, if you haven't watched the video, it's $40, $20 for two weeks, grocery haul from Dollar Tree Extreme Grocery Shopping. And take some of the margarine and lay it on the top of the dough when we're done. I have the butter. Just gonna cut it in half. What you see me doing here. And the butter is going to melt, making the top golden brown. actually margarine from by Imperial. Now the oven is preheated to 350 degrees. I'm going to read the packaging to see how long the biscuits go into the oven. This is all pre-cooked food. It says uh, 7 to 10 minutes. So we're going to put it in to 7 minutes to start and test it with a toothpick to see if the crust is fully cooked on the pie shell here and if the bottom will be all nice and hot and bubbling. We're gonna check on the chicken pot pie with a minute, 33 seconds. It smells really good. And we're going to add on seven minutes, as suspected. I'm gonna stop the timer. I'm gonna take it out. I'll show you a close up. I had to add on more time, I'm going to add more time further here. See how it's liquidy still and not completely cooked? Let's put it in for five more minutes. This is going to take, I'd say, 25 to 30 minutes rather than the 10 minutes on the package. Now we'll know to add a lot of extra time in the future. That is looking good. There's about 10 minutes left. I'm going to let it finish out. It smells so good. Go ahead and take this out. I don't want to keep it in there too much longer just in case. When you're doing a pot pie with a biscuit topper, do it for a full 20 to 30 minutes. batter has time to cook in the hot liquids. It's beautiful. It came out perfect. I'm going to show you a close-up. I will not be cutting into this to try it, but I'm going to show you the close-up. You're going to let it stand and cool down before you serve it. It will be four with leftovers, and this is what it looks like directly out of the oven. Dollar Tree Chicken Pot Pie Homemade. 
that is it for this video. Thank you so much for cooking with me in my kitchen today and making that incredible chicken pot pie. And it came out perfect. Sometimes if you have an older oven, if something says 7 to 10 minutes, you need to add on more time, sometimes doubling it. Just keep a close eye on it and use your timer. Before we go, we want to stretch that dollar further, give you more bang for your buck, save you money. When we get to 1700 we're going to issue out two $10 Dollar Tree gift cards. We're almost there and I'm so excited. Thank you so much, everybody, for your support. If you want in the past 60 days, you have to wait out six days. If your name was called and you didn't answer me within two business days, you'll be disqualified. Any lost or stolen packages from the mail from the prizes, we're not responsible for. These prizes are for U.S. residents only. We're going to be selling Let Us Eat t-shirts, $14.99 shipping and handling, $21 total. You can send me a check, you can do PayPal. We're looking for other ways for easy payment for you guys. The shirts will be here in a few weeks, and when they are, we'll do a full unveiling of the video from opening it, the box, and from myself and my husband trying it on. He also ordered me an apron, so I'm really excited. Don't forget about all the players' lists, tons of information in my description box down below with my email, other socials that we're on, such as Facebook and TikTok and Pinterest. Go follow me there. You can like my page, and you can join our group. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.